All right, guys, are we ready for the last session? Then we'll go to the Q&A. So I want to talk to us very quickly on what I've titled the theme of this summit, basically, add and multiply. So there's a saying that I think we all know. It says that you can't eat your cake and have it. It simply means that the cake you have eaten, you can't have. You can have a cake, but the one you have eaten is unhavable. <laughs> and it is possible to eat cakes when you have them. You can have cakes, but the cake you have eaten, you don't have it again. The ones that you have is your own. The one you have eaten is gone. There are a number of problems in Africa. Many problems. One of the very popular problems is corruption. And we tend to build everything around where we are as a nation, as a people, around corruption. But corruption, in my opinion, is not the worst problem we have. Um, in my opinion, the worst problem that we have is that we are consumers. You know, corruption begins with the C, I agree, but it's not the worst C that we have. There are a number of Cs. Corruption is one of them. Conflict is one of them. The worst of them is consumption. When you consume, what sign is this? You minus. When you have conflicts, you divide. So we are where we are because what is prevailing in Africa is subtraction and division. Consumption and conflict. And corruption is the two combined. <laughs> corruption divides and it subtracts. Remember that you cannot eat your cake. Listen, guys. It does not matter what that cake is. Be it oil and gas or trees, even leadership. If you have eaten it, you can't have it. The reason why many of you cannot multiply or amplify your value for growth is that you are eating what should be yielding. Corruption is not the biggest threat to Africa. The biggest threat to Africa is that we are a consuming people. We don't just buy to consume we borrow to consume. We consume what we already have as a resource. That's what they call a law of depletion. The reason why Dubai is the way they are is because Dubai had the projection. In this number of years, we're going to run out of oil and gas. Our oil resource can reduce, but it will never deplete, I'll explain. So the oil resource in Dubai has reduced, but it never depleted because they didn't eat their oil. They took the wealth from the oil and plunged it into uh, tourism and plunged it into infrastructure. So the oil is flowing, but it's no longer in black color. That's why you can't see it. We will not have oil in any color again. <laughs> Because of consumption, the law of depletion is eating deep. Listen, guys, if you plant one million trees in Africa in 20 years' time, we will harvest billions of dollars in revenue. Do you know that the water you are drinking casually? Earn six billion dollars in Nigeria alone. 
And this water that is thriving in this country is still not even produced by Nigerians. How can we not be able to produce water? So the real work that we have as the next generation is to bridge this gap. That is the problem. How do we transform ourselves from eating to yielding? In the first session, I told you that the things that you settle for as a harvest, they are seeds. You eat your seed. You don't eat your seed. You eat from your harvest. One million is never a seed. Oil and gas was never the harvest. I beg your pardon. But you and I think that oil and gas is a harvest of Nigeria. In 20 years, by the progression of depletion, Nigeria may be worth nothing. And while you are blaming your leadership, take an inventory of your life. What are you eating? And this is not just money. Many of you have squandered what you should be planting. Many of you are looking to hammer. And you learned in the first lecture what it means to hammer. But you should be planting. Listen, guys. There are two kinds of people. We know that now. We have the consumers. We have the producers. Let me tell you something. Con consuming does not mean that you just eat things that you produce. Some of you in your office, you are consumers. Because you only execute instructions you are giving. Even that is a problem. You only do what they tell you to do makes you a consumer in the workplace. A time is coming that machines will do what you are doing. And what the company will need from you is what machines can give to them, which is proactiveness. Projecting and anticipating a problem before it occurs. If you take instructions alone, you are a consumer. And I know you're not happy because you say, pay, but you told me to do it and I did it. What must I always tell you to do? There are two kinds of people. Hi. Who said this 15 minutes to himself? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Listen, guys. It is not consuming that makes you a consumer. Hi. A consumer is a man that consumes more than he produces. Because producers consume. Yes, sir. Producers consume, but producers are not consumers. Yes. Americans consume. The Chinese consume. But they are not consumers. They are not a developing nation. The difference between us and them is that they produce far more a producer must consume. So must a consumer. But a consumer always consumes more than he produces. Check your relationship. Uh, check your resources. Check, check your life. The, co the consumer is always subtracting and dividing. The producer is adding and multiplying. Consumers always take. Producers are making. Producers lead. Consumers follow. Look at Africa. You will know what I'm saying. Producers grow. Consumers deplete. 
Producers, they sell. Oh, God. Consumers, they either buy or they are bought. Oh, you didn't get this. You get into this two years' time. The worst case of a consumer is not that he buys a loan. You know we are bought. You know. The people that are constructing our roads today, they bought us. Oh, you think they are here to help us? They have bought your future. Ten years in advance. You know why? Because we are consumers. We cannot add anything as long as we eat more than we yield. Hi. Let me shock you. Now we know that producers consume and consumers consume. But producers produce and yield more than it eats. Am I correct? Yes, sir. But let me shock you guys. It is the consumers that pay for what the producers consume. I don't care what the producer is driving. You paid for it. You are eating, he's eating. But you are paying for what he is eating. And you are eating away your cake. Many of you actually, to be honest, the cake you are eating is even your own again. That's why you are bought. You, are, you stopped buying a long time ago. At the level that many of us are now, we have been bought. No change. I can't touch any of this. But let me help us very quickly. For those of us who came to Club 10, you get the idea. To be able to maximize all of this, you must be able to synergize your job, your passion, all right, your profession, and your business. To be able to multiply anything in this generation, You've got to find how, you see, as it works now, to make all of this work. I had a teaching recently, I have two minutes left, that said that if you are working for a company and you are being paid more money, is how they kill frogs. You know, so they pay you more money in the company to stay in the company, so you never follow your dream. So, you know, you need to leave your company and start your business. I mean, I understand where he's coming from. It's, it's true but not complete truth. Because you don't have to leave your job to build your business. It is okay, guys, to do what you hate to pay for what you love. It is okay, guys, to do a job that you hate that has nothing to do with what you studied in school and while you are here, you start a business because your job cannot pay for your passion. There are things you can do here from the money you make here. And when it's time to leave here, leave your job, you've got to have an exit strategy. So that strategy we need to work here for eight years. Eight years. Raise enough money to begin a business. You don't need to call your uncle for this. You just need to be here longer. This like Elisha said in his post, we not pay your house rent. This, you can have a passion for singing, but you are working in a clinic. Stay here. While you are here, begin hair business. Though you are a doctor, it's okay. I understand. It's painful, but this is Africa. We have been bought. Stay here. If you can't create a balance around this, you will never produce. I'm closing now. My time is up. I was sharing my wife some nights ago. And I said to her that it's important to have gifts. And when you have gifts, we at least now we know that when you have gifts, you need to learn skill, right? 
because gifts are natural skill acquired many of us don't pay for gifts we pay for skill blessed are you if you have skill in your gifts but when you have skill if for the next level of Nigerians you've got to begin to think about possibilities come and say possibilities don't allow your skill limit what's possible and you'll learn a lesson from what Nelson taught don't allow what you know be the limit of what you become I think I'm still an important person in Purple Foundation so I'll take two minutes no no two minutes is fine Ali come here quickly Ali come here quickly come quickly now I want to tell you something as I, as I bring this way close now this is Ali alright I want to tell you why you must you don't have an option you must add and multiply this is Ali nobody is born to be one thing that is how life is so I don't know why you want to focus on one thing I don't know what's wrong with you the moment this guy was born he became automatically a son a son he didn't have to negotiate pay no as he was born he became a son fortunately or not he has brothers and sisters so he became a son and became a brother to either a brother or to a sister he happens to be my cousin so the moment he just came out bam he became a cousin <laughs> I, I follow you now to make matters worse he's a man And then his father has brothers, so he became a nephew. <laughs> this is not prophetic, I'm telling you. <laughs> no one in this room is born to be one thing. So you must multiply, you must add. You have no choice. There's no other way to survive. Because the moment you came out, you came out more. So my message to you is that you are more. God bless you.